Hey, all you Yinzers, this is Double AP bringing you another episode of Yinzology, the study of all things Pittsburgh, coming to you from Bell Vernon, where they have, you're looking at a Haas's Steakhouse. And yes, it was open for business. Couldn't believe it. They also have a Gabe's where I had to go in. I bought a pair of Vans and beautiful yinzer con signage big black and gold enter here into the parking lot where you'll find that they had some food trucks a local gourmet popcorn and snack company they also had uh, another food truck steel plate where that was pittsburgh food like pierogies and i got the fresh cut fries with gravy and bacon the Heart of a Yinzer champion lunch and that was amazing. Also had the Steel City Ghostbusters. That was a crazy bunch. You also had outside were race cars and race car drivers from Pittsburgh PA's Motor Speedway. So a lot going on outside before you even enter the amazing YinzerCon event at Steel City Galleries Remix. Walking in the store, first impressions, you guys take a step back and just take it all in. They're just, you're just overwhelmed. There's just so much product that surrounds you. And the first person we run into is Pittsburgh's very own Luchador Yenza. Yes, he is a wrestler and he was filming us. I don't know if we'll make it into his youtube video but he is certainly going to make it into ours because he is a champion he's got the belt to prove it and we had a chance to sit down and speak with him he has a connection with armstrong county tv he also does a youtube channel with another friend of his called bikes and hikes and here we have the mancini family since 1926 yenzers have been getting warm fresh baked bread i used to get mine down at coons you had to go before church or the loaves of bread would have been a sold out and yes sometimes they were still warm in the bag paul hollywood on the great british baking show i told him he would be impressed with this loaf of bread had the yinzer con logo on there had a piece of uh, had a full-size braided piece of bread a uh, loaf of bread there and this lady was given samples of their sauce, their bread spread. I recommend the zesty pepper uh, that comes in a single jar for $4.99. You can get all of their products online on their website. I will put all of the links down in the description. You can order their bread. You can order their shirts. You can order hats. You can order the spread, the bread, the bread spread. Is what I call it. They even got pepperoni rolls. They got raisin bread. And they had just had a great... Uh, they got stickers there. And it just um, they made this event real special. I was so excited to meet them and talk with the Mancini family. Manja. Now what you're looking at here are some of the original cast members of the 1968 cult classic movie that was filmed and produced in Pittsburgh on a $100,000 budget by George Romero. Before The Walking Dead, there was The Night of the Living Dead, and they were uh, sharing life stories and experiences of what it was like to be on set, signing autographs. I actually went to high school with George Romero's son, and after high school, we tried to start up a video company with uh, we're trying to do videos of birthdays and weddings and here i am doing youtube videos and he went on to uh, do major motion horror movies himself out in la and a lot of uh, a lot of great photographs of uh, of what it was there's george romero right there and here are two more original cast members sharing their experience of being part of a cult classic. Maybe you need to take a little break from Marvel or DC. And there's a group of Pittsburgh based creators that are producing some nice high quality comic books. They are called Comicsburg. Check them out down below. I'll put the link 
in the description. Now here I have one small critique for Yinzercon. You got a five piece rock band straight out of Bel Vernon and they're not playing. I would have loved to have heard some live music outside. Now this guy, these guys are called Broom. They do cover songs, but they also have some of their own music. Now this guy here, he is a pro baseball scout. He's also the CMU head coach broadcaster, Claudio Riozono. Got him talking about that movie uh, called Moneyball and whether or not it was accurate. And he said, yes, it is accurate. Now, one celeb I wanted to get my picture taken with was Kathy, the shop and save lady. But before I could say anything, she asked if I could take her picture with this artist named Joe. And you got to understand, I'm test driving my gimbal. It's like a steady cam. I'm, I'm, I'm driving this thing for the first time and I got it in my hand. And then I'm holding her camera in my other hand. I don't know how I pulled it off, but I took their pictures. And uh, yeah, that's Kathy, the shop and save lady. Now here we have another artist and he's also, he has his own podcast. His name is Vin, Vinny Candelore and his company is called VC2 Art. And some really nice artwork. And next to him, again, we have Joe, who is two-time Emmy winning host of uh, Cartoon Academy, where he teaches people how to draw cartoons. He's also the creator of Charlie the Tuna, the Starkist mascot. Now, if any of you were wondering the weight and dimensions of an Emmy statuette, are approximately 6 pounds, 12 ounces. It's made of copper, nickel, silver, and yes, there is a little bit of gold in there. These young gentlemen attend the Tom Savini Special Makeup Effects Program that's been around 20 years, doing a little sculpting. There's Pittsburgh Thor. And Pittsburgh Iron Man making a special appearance at YinzerCon. Only at YinzerCon. And another special appearance was Tom was here at YinzerCon. That's the name of his YouTube channel. Tom was here. Now I'm doing more of a narrative uh, narration of the uh, YinzerCon event. Where if you go to Tom's channel, he does a more in-depth analysis where he actually sits down with the celebrities and he actually does interviews. So please go check it out. Thanks, Tom, for answering all my questions. He's been doing this longer than I have, and I was picking his brain about YouTube. So while we take a little tour of Steel City Galleries, I have to say thank you to Don Spagnuolo for creating this Yinzercon brainchild and actually pulling it off. And if you don't know the story, Don came up with the idea in his head that at first, in the beginning, it was easy, it was manageable, it was something he could handle by himself to get a little foot traffic in the store, maybe meet some new people. And that was up until KDKA came along with their big cameras and they did a short video promo. And that's when all H broke loose. The phone started ringing off the hook, emails started pouring in, and Dawn's world was turned upside down, you know. He pulled it together. He became a leader and he organized all his resources and with the help of his family and friends, he not only went into overdrive, he went into overtime, you know, putting in long hours. He even did a remodel, knocking down some walls, laying down carpet, putting up a fresh coat of paint to expand the store. And I don't know how he managed to get close to 30 confirmed celebrities in less than like two months, I think it was. So a big shout out and a thank you to not only Dawn, but to Dawn's family and congratulations for a job well done. And let me tell you, the store, everything was clean. It was family friendly. It was fun filled day that reminded me of like, you think of like a neighborhood block party where you close the entire street down and you have, we just had a black and gold barbecue with all of our neighbors and our friends and our family. It was just a relaxed, fun filled event. We ended up with some beautiful weather and they stamped your hand so you could go inside, you could go outside with no hassle. And your ticket package included three $10 in-store credit coupons while 
everything in the store was 30% off that day. So it was just, uh, uh, it was just great. I got myself a vulcanized piece of, of rubber with the Penguins League logo on the hockey puck. I got this uh, antique Pittsburgh Pirates mug that actually was not made in China. It was made in Trenton, New Jersey, believe it or not. So thank you again, Don, and to your family, and congratulations on a job well done. Now, we've been looking at Don's collection of autograph signatures by famous people. We, uh, we saw JFK. We saw Princess Diana and Prince Charles, who's now the king. Uh, we saw one of my favorites. If I had $750, I would have grabbed Princess Leia, uh, Carrie Fisher signature. Don't tell my wife that was Return of the Jedi when she's in the, the Jabba, the hut bikini. And, uh, I didn't have, a, I didn't have $800 on me. Uh, the Princess Diana one's going for like 7,500. JFK's going for 3,000. Jim Hansen and the Muppets that you saw there was going for about a thousand. Superman, Christopher Reeve signature was going for a thousand you could get jerry seinfeld the whole cast so he had brady bunch he's got sports uh there's brady bunch right there and he's selling the whole package if you want everything on the wall all his signed autographs he's selling all at, as as one big bundle if it, a little over a half a million dollars <laughs> just to give you an idea of how many signed autographs he has uh clint eastwood i mean the list goes on and on and uh, it's just incredible. I really, that was one of the things I really enjoyed. I don't like pawn shop, the pawn stars, because it's like you're speculating, you're negotiating, you're haggling over prices. I like Antique Roadshow where they tell you how much your item is worth. And that's what was nice was every signed autograph on the wall had a little price tag. You knew how much it was worth. And it was a lot of fun just to see what they were going for. And I really enjoyed myself. I must have uh, taken my time and looked at every, just about every signed autograph. Although I was looking for Clint Eastwood, he's one of my favorites. I didn't, I did, I couldn't find that one. But he, he claims he's not going out of business selling this, all of these as one whole package. He's just trying to clear space for some new inventory. Well, not new, that inventory that's been laying around, and that he can. Uh, he can just cycle through some of the inventory. So he claims he's not going out of business, but if you've got a half a million dollars, you can buy every signed autograph. Uh, and he also claims he, he's very, Don's very uh, particular about authentication. Everything's been authenticated and in some way or another. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to him. He's, uh, Really laid back, easy going, friendly, and willing to work with you. If you can make your way up to Elizabeth, PA, you got to check out the Carlos Market. It's as if Penn Mac had a baby, and it's a little Italian market. But please let me allow me to continue to digress a little bit. Don put a poll up on Facebook: Should he keep the Yinzercon next year at the store in Bel Vernon, or should he move to a larger venue? Survey says sixty-four of you say stay in Bel Vernon. Nine of you Yinzer said move. And I got to agree with the 64. Dawn, if you can keep it in Bel Vernon, I say keep it in Bel Vernon. I mean, they're doing you know, all these towns along the Mon and Yakagani, like Bel Vernon, Monongahela, Elizabeth, Clareton, Glassport, Slick Rick from Turtle Creek, Braddock. You know, they're working hard to clean them up. I saw a lot of people fishing the streams when I drove around. They've capped up all the coal mines. They've Anything radioactive, they put in cement, uh, you know, I get it. You still got the resin plant and the millworks in Clareton, but they are doing a lot to clean places up. And as you find a lot of farmlands, a lot of homegrown, keep it local, a lot of undeveloped property. It's a beautiful area. If you can wait for that residential push, because they're coming. If I was a first time home buyer, I would be checking out some of these towns. You get your first first home under 80000 uh, the push is coming, you know, the residential push. Hang on, keep it in Bel Vernon. And uh, people in Bel Vernon need to thank Don for bringing new clients to the area, like Giant Eagle and Gabe's. I, I went in there and I bought some. And they need to thank the Spagnolo family for bringing people to the Bel Vernon area. Hey, Yens, do us all a favor and please click that subscribe button that pops up, hit that notification bell, and share this video.
and thanks for watching this review on Yinzer Khan on Yinzology, the study of all things Pittsburgh.